it has come to my it has come to my immediate discernment and discretion what have you um it has come across my desk in swift fashion okay um and i am i am truly 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 perturbed um yeah 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 uh man um there's a new trend nowadays where the successful black men um in society they call uh the men who can attract the woman that they like or that they have a crush on um thugs and degenerates um for no reason you know without knowing the person and without giving any uh fair due to you know examine they just outright just say hey look if you attracted to or if one of these women that i like is attracted to you uh and not me you a thug or they'll just outright say well fuck the bitch she just likes thugs now i'm gonna unpack it so what i observe most so be that a lot of these dudes bro that say that shit they be them kind of dudes where deep down they know they squares uh and there's nothing wrong with that see my philosophy is that you can't serve two masters and most of you you black men who get on the internet and get the saying well hey she's a, she's a thug she she like thuggos and ray rays and pookie so here's the thing um for you to say that that means you taking yourself out of the, the shoes of a civilian and you trying to be within the office chair of a street nigga or a real nigga right for you to be able to evaluate such um it means you have to be that otherwise your opinion is null and void and mute uh so if you are that then you are what you claim uh you detest right because essentially what i see online is a bunch of these black men that when they look in the mirror they know deep down uh they have no type of arrest record or um they have no bullet holes in their bodies nigga they they hands on scarred from fist fights nobody knows them in the bad parts of town for doing anything violent and there's nothing wrong with that but for y'all to get on the internet and I would say assume the role of someone who can accurately and logically deduct what both roles are with the accurate barometer as to what qualifies for each role and you're neither um, at least that's what y'all claim to be y'all claim to be neither y'all claim to be perfect in between type niggas right um I think that makes it all not only invalid or false, but I think, again, like I said in one of my shows not too long ago, I made that uh, you all should stop perpetuating that. That two things that if a woman don't like y'all, she's hood, trash, ghetto, and she only like thugs. Nigga, maybe you dress in a way that's lame to her. Nigga, maybe you dress to move in a way that's corny to women. Uh, nigga, maybe you haven't taken the time to listen or go by and hear the opinion of people that different, that are different from your upbringing. Maybe they would give you a different style and way to wear and carry yourself that wouldn't be as corny and lame to the women that y'all find attractive. And two, um, when y'all perpetuate that uh, stereotypical 
play of, well, she just like the degenerates. Um, you just help and fuel the Edomites, the pale folk. And they're, and they're usually bullshitted uh, rhetoric and idealism as to what black men are. Um, I don't have to beat a dead horse. This is a short video, but just something I observed, man. And I guess I'll add this in here too while I'm on record for video and not a show. But uh, I noticed how nowadays in society, a lot of them same dudes, right? Um, they study, they go on the Instagrams of, they look up the rappers, right? They go on their social media platforms and they study how they dress. They study how they walk, talk, the slang, the lingo, how they stand. And they get it down to a T to try to emulate the same people that y'all would say that the women don't, that don't like you, but are attracted to are wrong for liking. Make it make sense, man. That's crazy to me. Um, but these are just observations. Uh, I guess as Charleston White proved to the world, because I'll be honest and what I think about him, he's a goofy lame. He said it himself, he worshiped the devil. Can't be cool and worship the devil, nigga. Evil always look lame in the end of the movie. Fool. Uh, but you knew he was a goofy when we all watched his ass throw that flower pot and get tackled in the next Thursday off that stage behind. Nigga, that proved everything you said was a motherfucking lie. Big sorry ass, Dewberry set up there, watched you get uh, perforated. Uh, Y'all remember them machines back in the day? You put your paper on the perforate and it put them little three dots in there. That's what they did to him. That was a goddamn shame. But when I saw that, I say to myself, yeah, it was a matter of time before they pulled the wool over him. Um, but he's a clown. But uh, he said to himself, and I don't think he knew he was talking about himself. He said, money can't unlame a lame. And that's what I think a lot of y'all are. A lot of y'all black men who are successful and y'all get frustrated because y'all feel like, well, man, I went through this put up with that I achieve success so I should be cool I shouldn't be lame no more don't work like that but anyway uh y'all keep God first uh God willing today I will be back at y'all with some more verses as usual as y'all notice I don't really drop too many more videos because it's not my word and it's not me it is God that gives the glory credit to God all right y'all have a good one God bless